Hey guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to change this room into what could be a bedroom. We already have our mood board here and this is the bedroom. So we will try to achieve something slightly similar to this. Let's open our 3ds Max file. Select the ceilings, these two ceilings here and let's hide these two forever. This is our room here. Let's start with just blocking out stuff. So the bed is somewhere here, slightly bigger than its bed, but no problem. I like these lights. It's had the same height as the bed. So let's just go ahead and do something like this. In our floor plan, we have a, an office and we have a bathroom. I already blocked out some stuff. This is, for example, for the bathroom. I'm gonna make a new folder, add these here. In 3ds Max, we have this awesome modifier called FFD. You can just apply 2x2x2. Two by two by two. Activate snap. Collapse it. I'm not gonna be really accurate, but as you can see, we cannot have the bathroom counter going all the way from here to here. Let's just try to make this part. I'm just blocking out my bathroom. And here we have an office, so I will just copy this small little box, collapse it to edit poly, then move it here. I'm gonna make a copy of this line rosette nice sofa. If you wonder how to get furniture like this, just go to Google. One of the ways we can find free assets is from the source. One of the awesome companies who make awesome furniture is these guys, Line Rosette. And when you go to their collections, 90% of the products they make, they also provide the CAD or 3D files that you can download. There is Line Rosette, there is Casina. There, there are so many manufacturers who provide you with the 3D assets. So that's one way to get free 3D assets to your uh, projects they just need some processing we will get to that in the future tutorials one other way you can go to websites like 3dsky.org and just type togo and you can find the pro assets that you can buy you can find free assets that you can download completely for free and also use in your projects so just to fill our space, let's copy this, make an instance of it, place it here, see how it's gonna look like. Let's move our bed. We could even make a small nice balcony. If you noticed, there is this smoothing problem. I just selected all polygons and I just removed the smoothing groups and it would get rid of it for you. So this is the first room. I would look again at my reference pictures and see if I would like to add anything. We would add some closets here. So let's make this slightly smaller and let's make a new box. And as you can see, I'm not being really organized, so that's a problem. 
what I would do is activate the layer, this layer. This is my working layer for now, let's say. And inside this guy, I should have these guys too. So, that's good. And this we can delete later, no problem. To make quick, nice clothes, let's just make another box. Let's set its width to like 70 and the same height as our walls. So I will not model the inside of the closet and I'm gonna just do a real quick trick, alright? I'm gonna copy the kitchen here. I will add them to my working layer and I will remove the subdivision. I'm gonna turn off the chamfer for now. And instead of having the small doors below and the large doors on the top, I'm gonna just rotate like so. So this is me reusing my assets instead of doing them all over again. The distance from here to here can be measured real quickly. It's like one centimeter. So we can do the same for these three guys. And we can move on the Y axis by one centimeter. And then, what can we do is adding an edit poly modifier, do it like this. We can add another FFD modifier and just move it all the way here. Then move them inside just a little. Do the same here. And we will delete the faces we don't see so we can save on the light map resolution. Just keep this guy and this guy. I'm gonna select these doors, I will collapse and we should be good for now. Later what can we do is adding a chamfer modifier then open subdev to have these nice edges not as perfect as these because this does not exist in real world. Let's work on the ceiling a little bit see what can we do here. For the bedroom ceiling it's time to start making the ceiling here smaller. So we have the ceiling for the rooms that we did not visit in the house yet. So what can we do is just select these guys. Go to the top view, select then detach this part. And let's do some quick adjustments. I want to confirm it to our walls. So this one is part of the bathroom, we don't want it. Let's just click detach. Let's go to the top view, move it here. We can get rid of this. And then let's move our ceiling to the edges of the wall so we can keep stuff consistent. What I'm trying to do here is actually is having something like this only above my bed. So we can add a loop. Click inset. Extrude it to the top. And because I want to stay consistent, we can select one of the other ceilings. Let's say this guy. Then select these two faces and then just snap the height here so we can have the exact same height. The next thing we would like to do is to select this guy perhaps, detach it. I honestly don't like this so we can straighten it. These lines just give me OCD so if you go back to our reference, we have spotlights here, that's fine. We have spotlights here too, that's nice. What I would like to add instead is, let's make a ring selection, connect, select this, then extrude. Give it another material ID, so it can be emissive later, and everything else have the same material ID. And to ensure that Unreal Engine will read this mesh as two material IDs, we need to give it a multi-sub-object material. We can identify the faces. 
Next step would be finding a nice bed that similar to this guy. So let's go to the internet. We could try to this guy, search for bed, and select free from the filter. We found this free bed on 3dsky.org, so let's click download. If you're using 3ds Max, 3dsky is one of the perfect websites for you. If you're not using 3ds Max, it might be problematic because sometimes you would have only the Max files. However, in this case, we're lucky we have also the FPX files, so that's great. I'm gonna save my scene now. I will click File, Reset, and then I will just click merge, locate my file, Corona or V-Ray does not really matter because we will send this to Unreal Engine. Okay, here is our bed, looks good, we don't want to use the backboard, so let's get rid of it. I don't think we need these two tables, but let's keep one of them for now, they look nice. And I really like how clean the topology is. Before we send this to Unreal or to our Max file, let's just do one quick thing. See the unwrap for the light map UVs. This is good. This is going to be perfect inside Unreal Engine. As you can see, the unwrapping is pretty nice. I like people who give us options to turn off these like mesh smooth stuff. I'm gonna stop the lesson here, guys, and I will see you guys in the next lesson. Hello beautiful people, Sibo Yahya. If you've made it this far, you deserve some cookies. And these cookies are our community spotlight. I'm gonna start with two tools are coming to Unreal Engine, Promethean AI and Unreal Bucket. The Promethean AI team shared an extended look at their AI powered toolkit and finally announced the availability for the first public version we can download and try now. There is a full keynote, 45 minutes video. You can learn everything you need to learn about the tool. I really want to see how Promethean AI is going to change the landscape of the industry in the years to come. The second tool is Unreal Bucket and this looks extremely promising for Unreal artists. This is going to be a library with high quality native Unreal Engine assets. There is also beta in progress, you can request it now. I already made a request and I will make a video about this tool soon. This looks extremely promising for me. I'm super excited about this tool and I can't wait to try it. Next on the list, I have my top Unreal Engine channels that I learned Unreal Engine from. First, the legend Fabrice. Check him out. He makes amazing tutorials on Archphase in Unreal Engine, on lighting, on ray tracing, all that good stuff. For our friends who speak Russian, there is 3DV. Maman Vladimir is making Unreal Engine tutorials in Russian, mainly about lighting and Archphase. If you speak Russian and want to learn more Unreal Engine stuff, check out Maman. If you work with Unreal Engine in filmmaking and motion graphics, check out my man Wimbush. He makes absolutely incredible tutorials as well. I learned so much from Wimbush over the years. And recently I discovered William Foucher. He makes the best tutorials getting better depth of field. This is one of my favorite tutorials. Highly recommend this one. And, and if you want to learn about landscapes and how to get your landscapes right, check out Unreal Sensei. This guy is making amazing videos. Before I go, don't forget to join us on Discord and join the discussion. We have more than 500 members now, guys. We have people from Epic answering some questions. We are answering some questions. The community is answering some questions. Everyone is helping everyone. I'm gonna also link you to our Discord in the description. That would be it, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this community spotlight and I look forward to see you soon. Cheers.